All right, so Property Brothers is back today at the Dawson area. And those of you who have been following our YouTube channel, you know that we had a Skyville at Dawson unit that has been sold. And today we're going to bring you to take a look at one of the loft type units here at Sky Terrace. So let's go check out the home. So Sky Terrace at Dawson puts us in the same category as the premium HDB flats like Pinnacle at Duxton. So I think those of you who are looking around Dawson, you probably would be familiar with this area. We're actually a merchant town. So this is actually located just about 10 to 11 minutes walk from the Queenstown MRT. Further down at Red Hill, of course, you have the market and you have the hawker centre there at Red Hill. So definitely a lot of food. You can get around that area and if you head further down towards the Commonwealth area, you also get a lot of amenities in that zone as well. So upcoming at Queenstown, there is also the old site of the Queenstown MRT which has been bidded for by a developer and that's also going to be developed into a new commercial establishment with retail shops as well as offices. Alright, so of course living in Queenstown in this Dawson area also has its perks meaning if you pull up the map, we're actually located just southwards of the entire GCB area at Tanglin and Chatsworth which means that there is also like a backdoor entrance that takes you to the Orchard Road shopping belt in just under 10 minutes if you're driving. So I think that's very, very convenient if you're heading to town quite often. If not, of course, if you're taking the MRT, it's just four stops to Tajung Pala and five stops to Raffles Place if you're heading to the CBD at Shenton Way. It also takes you just three stops to the Outram Park Interchange where you can transfer to the North East Line and the Thompson East Coast Line in the future. So it's just two stops to the Buena Vista MRT which transfers you to the Circle Line Sky Terrace at Dawson was designed by SCDA Architects and how they've kind of developed this development is that they have five towers of 43-storey blocks and to interconnect all the five blocks, you have a roof garden at level 4 where you can actually link and interconnect to all the various blocks. So for the Sky Gardens, you have it at level 13 as well as level 28 which connects you to block 91 and for the sky bridges located on level 19 and level 34 that connects you to block 89 right so these are all communal spaces so for example if you want to let your kids go out to just scooter around without having to cross the roads and things like that on the level that we are at you can actually just head outside you don't even have to take the lift this sky garden is located right outside of your unit all right so within sky terrace itself let me just share with you the unit breakdown in this development so there's a total of 758 units Units. and the makeup is as follows you have a studio units you have three bedrooms four rooms five rooms as well as something very very special here at sky terrace is you also get this loft type units the four room loft type two unit which is the one that we have here with a 5.4 meter ceiling it only makes up about 26.3 percent of the total unit count in sky terrace which makes it one of the more rarer type of units so just to share with you more about this type of hdb loft units we did a quick google search we found that there are mainly two different hdb developments that have these type of loft type units and one of them is actually situated in the northeastern Pongol Sapphire development and the other one if we move closer to town is where we are today at Sky Terrace at Dawson and of course we did some further digging we realized there were some other older type of HDBs at the Sing Ming as well as the Bishan area where the penthouse which is the top floor unit has some kind of a loft setup but of course these are generally a bit older uh, and if you're someone who's looking for a bit of a newer type of a resale HDB, then I guess you have these two choices to toy with, one at Pongo, or if you want City Fringe Living, then of course, we're coming here to Sky Terrace. You know at Property Lim Brothers, we love to value add and share more about the real estate landscape here in Singapore. So if you guys know where we can find such type of loft style units, do leave us a comment down below. Alright, so why do people love having this type of lofty ceilings of about 5.4 meters, right? So one of the quick reasons is that because if you look at the windows, they actually stretch the entire floor to ceiling height of the living room which means that you get to enjoy more natural light coming in during the daytime and of course if you need a bit more space you can actually apply to BCA for approval to build up like a furniture deck so that can create an additional like a work from home area like a study or reading zone as well so I think those are some users and flexibility options you have when you have such lofty ceilings all right let's have a total rundown of the home
So we're here at the entrance foyer zone of this forum loft unit and what I love is this entrance foyer zone has dual functionality. So one of course it functions as a shoe cabinetry space. So you have all this top bottom cabinetry. And another thing is that this is actually a concealed doorway into your storeroom home shelter area. So I love it that it's tucked at one of the corners and you still get to use a lot of the kind of like storage spaces on the top and bottom as well as some display space for your ornaments and photos of your family and things like that. So as you enter into this zone, this is why it makes the difference. So you have this super high ceiling, these are like 5.4 meters tall. So this unit in particular, it's a four room uh, type two loft unit, which means that it is 97 square meters. Just to bring out the layout plan and share a bit more. So you get your three full bedrooms, so no walls were taken down. Uh, a kitchen, a laundry area, as well as your dining and living room zone here as well. Uh, you also have a little patio balcony space where later on we can show you more. All right, so in the living area zone, this uh, area has been done up by our owners. There's this wood paneling effect that's already done up and the TV feature wall. So they have mounted their TV, there are also storage spaces below. And on the right hand side, they have dedicated this as their dining zone. So you have the high ceilings even in your dining area. Uh, if you're someone that loves to hang like a chandelier or a dining kind of like pendant light, you can definitely do it here. There's tons of headroom. So dining area is great. Now it's like a four-seater. You also have a built-in like a bench booth seat type of cafe style thingy going. Uh, I think that's great. And of course over here, there's also a lot more space for you if you're entertaining and things like that. Uh, if you have kids running around the house, there's still walkway spaces uh, even with the dining area located at this corner. And right in front of me, um, over here, of course, you have your couch area. So the viewing distance, I think, is great, right? You can definitely put in like a big TV, very efficient use of the living room space. And into this balcony space, there's this three full height panels. If you open this up, it opens up to a little cozy balcony space. It's actually overlooking into the roof terrace of the opposite development, so you can have greenery views as well as this pocket view of the entire GCP zone in the Tanglin area. I think that's great, especially if you're taking a break from working from home, you can come here, you know, rest your eyes, look out into the greenery. So I think it's a very useful like outdoor indoor space to have, especially when you're living in a HDB, these are a bit rarer to find. And of course, being a loft type unit, you have the super high ceilings and the windows that run the entire 5.4 meters of this height over here. So moving on to the kitchen. The living area, of course, is clad in this homogeneous tiles. DV box is over here, there's some extra storage inside. And as you enter the kitchen, um, right now, because our owners don't really cook often, but if you do and you want to install a sliding door, you can probably do it right over here as well. When you come by, our listing manager can show you the quotation of how much it is to do that. The kitchen has been fully done up. So as I like to say, as a fully functional kitchen, you need to have the three main zones. So firstly, you have your cooking zone over here. The cooker hood and hob, uh, there's also an oven done up. And of course, you need your washing zone, which is right over at this corner. The countertop spaces are all done up in this grey galaxy top. Very hardy stuff. And of course, last but not least, after you cook, you need to have your preparation area over here. So storage spaces are great. Top bottom is already done. So there are also some drawers done up over here. They're all soft closing. Over on the right hand side as well, more storage spaces for your pots and pans and cutlery and not forgetting your fridge space in this corner tucks away. And this of course leads also to the yard zone where owners have done up the windows over here. So even if it rains, you don't have to worry about it kind of splashing in. And of course the HDB given the retractable racks, the laundry area. So definitely I think a very efficient and useful kitchen and laundry space right over there. Now heading into the bedrooms, Kenneth is going to show you around as well as share with you more about the developments around Dawson area. So Kenneth, take it away. And let me show you the bedroom. So on my left, the first bedroom is currently furnished with a queen size bed and the one right here is a study. So both of them are almost the same size and you can see from where I am that you can have the possibility of using both rooms for different kinds of concepts. I think what's great is that the room allows you to put in a huge study table 
So if you come in with me, you see that the couple actually works together side by side. I mean, not very often you get to see rooms that can fit in two huge secret lab chairs, three monitors, and still have a lot of space. So the other good thing is that the unit faces north. So from the living room all the way to the bedrooms, they have a north facing, they face towards greenery. So I think regardless what you use this bedroom for, I think you still can enjoy very nice views from this room itself. So over here you can see that there's a garden from the other project. You can look all the way to Dilidon and all the way to Orchard Road right behind there. So for this room, it also comes with timber strip flooring which is rare for HDBs nowadays. So typically they come with uh, vinyl or laminate but this one you've got nice solid timber flooring. So let's head to the master bedroom. So master bedroom itself, I think gives you this nice entryway so that your guests don't see into your bedroom straight away. And then of course, as you come in here, our owners have really done up very nice cabinetry on this side and of course on the other side as well. So you have good amount of space for clothes. And this facing also looks towards greenery view. So you don't get neighbors looking directly into your house. Your bed is situated nicely tucked in that corner. Alright, so over here would be the master bathroom which I think they very nicely put in this sliding door just to take up uh, less space. And I think it's a good size bathroom and of course the other one, the common bathroom over here. It's also a good size one as well. You've got good room, good wingspan. I can open my arms in the bathroom. Let me share with you a little bit more about the amenities. So near Sky Terrace at Dawson, we have primary schools like Queenstown Primary, Ganin Seng Primary, Alexandra Primary, Newtown Primary and Secondary Schools, we have Queenstown, Crescent Girls, Bukit Merah, Queensway and Gunning Singh Secondary. For recreation and for those who love to go cycling or jogging in the mornings and evenings, we are located right beside Alexandra Canal, Linear Park and Park Connector. So this Park Connector will take us all the way to the south side of Singapore at Harbour Front. So we are also located near to Lenki Community Centre and a Hilltop Walk at Teluk Blanga Hill Park. A little bit more on the surrounding HDB estates uh, at Sky Terrace at Dawson. So we have Sky Terrace being the newest HDB estate to MOP at 5 years. And then you have Dawson Vista across the road which was built in 1993 to 1997. You have Strathmore Green built in 2011. And you have Four Far Heights that's built between 2002 to 2006. Now loft units like these are extremely rare with only two such locations in Singapore having such concepts. You have those in Dawson which is where our units are located at, at Sky Terrace at Dawson and Pongol where Tree Lodge at Pongol and Pongol Sapphire have only 37 of such units over there. And recently in Pongol Sapphire there was a 5 room unit that was transacted right after the circuit breaker that was sold for $900,000. And also at Pongol Sapphire the age of the estate is also 8 years old. So right here at Dawson Sky Terrace where we are located very close to the District 9, 10, 11 areas, a stone throw from Orchard and a little further down you hit the Central Business District and with an asking price of $945,000, we feel that it's priced very attractively. So of course, besides Sky Terrace, the next newest one would be Skyview at Dawson. If you're looking for a new HDB estate to move into, this would basically be the two estates within your consideration. Now let's head over to where Mark is waiting at the Sky Terrace at level 13 which is on the same floor as our unit. Alright, so that wraps up our home tour of the 4 room unit at Sky Terrace at Dawson. I'm Kenneth, this is Mark, Property Lim Brothers, always happy to show you the place. Lofty ceilings. <laughs> high ceilings. Such high ceilings. We have such high ceilings. Sky, sky, and high. <laughs> <laughs> that was so